Oh, man. Oh, man, I see y'all there. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the Mecca Media Morning Show. Boy, Cat Israel take a place up. Smooth in the AM. What's happening, y'all? What up, man? I'm about to call you smooth. What up, Cat? Yeah, I'm just chilling a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I just woke up early in the morning. I get my calisthenics on so I get the blood pumping. So now I need my black coffee of the day. How about the inspiration of the day? How about the closer you get to Jesus, the less you will promote yourself? Yeah, I'm going to put a little spin on that. And watch this. Um, When, for, for me anyway, as a Christian, you know, you have to walk that life. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say you're a Christian and not live it. I'm going to repeat that. Don't say you're a Christian and not live it. That means when you representing something, you have to believe in it and then practice on it. Now, don't say you're a Christian and then be hostile, snapping at people, you know, things of that nature. Just saying, you know what I'm saying? You got to walk that walk. So whether you're a Christian, a Muslim, you know, you say you follow Elijah Muhammad, the most honorable, you gotta walk that walk, baby. So you say you're a rabbi. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. You gotta walk that walk with the Torah now. So if you saying what you saying, you better be doing what you're doing. So uh, so uh, saying that, we're gonna get to the information of the day, which is sponsored. And you know we get it from the report newspaperonline.com, baby. And hard copy, by the way. This article is called, y'all gonna like this one. Will Smith, Chris Rock agreed to make amends after the smack incident at Oscars. Let's see what they're talking about. Oh, Mr. William Smith, aka Will Smith, and Chris Rock reportedly agreed to make amends after Smith smacked fire at him. The comedian on stage in front of the whole world during the Academy Awards ceremony. Sunday night, as reported exclusively by Page Six. Both were expected to attend the annual Vanity Fair Oscar badge, but it's unclear that they made amends before or during the event. Uh, the rule was also told that Diddy, Puff Diddy, Diddy Love, as he called himself, talked to both Smith and Rock, who agreed to make amends later in the evening. And I wonder if that was about. Or they, they caught the fade or, you know, they just, you know, made amends. I don't know. But as reported earlier, during the show, uh, Mr. Rock made a joke about Will's wife, Jada Pickett Smith, hair loss. The actress suffers from, I don't know, work with me for Alopecia. Oh, uh, alopecia. Yeah, I don't say that much. So Will was not amused that Rock mocked her for this. The veteran actor walked on stage and turned into Mike Lowry. And slap Rock. Slap him. For returning to his seat in the audience and yelling, quote unquote, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. I don't like to cuss, y'all. No, I am trying to walk that walk. So, you know, and I, I'm going to do a Chris Rock. You're like, wow, dude. Wow. He smacked the out of me on national TV. And of course, Mr. Will, Mr. Williams, he said it once again. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Now, you know, me and uh, my boss brother Hiram, we was talking about this a little bit, you know, and he was saying, like, you know, I don't blame him. He said, you about to talk about me and mine. I'm like, I'm fool. I'm like, I don't know. He said some other uh, explicit things I can't really say on television, but he said, he, he catch you, he, he gonna, he gonna be some problems. I'm just saying. And, you know, people talking about what they going through, and what they going through is their business. So, yeah, you can make mockery, you can just take a little crack, a little jokes, but at the end of the day, they ain't together. So if you say something foul, you should expect fire coming at you. I'm just saying, or Sonic Coins, or, you know, Mario <laughs> might hit the, the uh, Koopa or something, but something coming up at you, I'm just saying. So, speaking of that, I wonder what the Black Thought of Day going to be on this one. I'm trying to figure out what that's going to be. So, Brother Hiram, what's the Black Thought? The black thought of the day. Hey, man, listen, man, we have to put our women first. You better um, understand that. If your woman feels uncomfortable in any way, it's on you to make her comfortable. I don't care if you fluff her pillow, turn the heat up, uh, 
clean out her car, whatever you gotta do to make her comfortable, it's your responsibility. If somebody disrespects your woman, it's your responsibility to honor that woman by doing what you have to do. Do what has to be done. Stop by <laughs> if you have to. That's my black thought of the day. The black queen is always first. Truly the exalted goddess in our midst. Y'all better film me before they kill me, y'all. Now, I don't advocate violence necessarily, but, uh, you know, Rick James, you know, you got to have to pull out uh, the hat every now and then. But I feel it, though. You know what I'm saying? You talk about me and mine, there's going to be some problems. It's just that simple. Whatever's coming to you, that's what's coming to you. You know, wherever it comes. But you know one thing, if I have a coming, you know what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to the business of the day, which is my favorite. One of my favorites for sure is Louisiana's famous fried chicken, y'all. Where it's all about the flavor. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of flavor, man, I haven't had no fried green tomatoes in a while. I'm, yeah, I'm about to make a real 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 comeback. Yeah, I'm about to make a comeback real soon. You know, I love my two-piece coleslaw mash. Sometimes I get mac, but I'm trying to cut carbs a little bit. Or are speaking of cut. Are they open on Mondays? No, sir. Oh, man. No, sir. But, but they that, that is something to change, though. I will put that out there. But though. they open the day, though. They open the day, though. That's for sure. And I'm about due for a chicken salad. I'm about due for one, y'all. So I'm, I'm probably going to be there real soon. And I hope y'all do, too. So y'all got the inspiration of the day, the information of the day, the black thought of the day. Yeah, I remember this time. And, of course, in the business of the day. And it's really the week, by the way. So go wake up. Get your coffee on. Get your chicken on. Get your inspiration on. And don't smack nobody, y'all. I ain't ever came with violence, but you know, if he gets it, oh well. So, saying that, I'm on to my day. So, yeah. Keep your date, Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the Perkins Jr. High Alumni Reunion Party. This will be the event to remember with DJ Easy Money and VJ the DJ with live performances by Rare Image. Come out to the event center that's 2208 East Market Street, Akron, Ohio, and rock out all night long with some great tasting soul food while supplies last. Remember, that's $35 per person in advance and $60 per couple. And you know what? That's only $40 at the door per person. Remember, keep the date Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the reunion, the Perkins Junior High School Reunion Alumni Party. Okay, we back at it again. We up here at uh, Greenlight Officers, so right where we left off. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm a part of the new leadership team here at Louisiana. Uh, we are basically doing the same menu. We got whole wings, wing dings. We got our fish. Uh, we have catfish, perch, shrimp. Uh, we offer it grilled or fried. 
and we're doing the same sides that we always have, all homemade collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, uh, coleslaw, all the regular. We also have some fried gizzards still. Um, our, we have new operating hours. We're open during the week 11 to 7 and on Fridays and Saturdays 11 to 8, closed on Mondays as normal.